Welcome, I'm Chip Spiegel, and it's a pleasure to be a part of the Lowe Online Continuing Improvement Webinar Series. Today we're going to look at the best practices of some of the most successful dealers and what they do to win at boat shows. What have we learned in this webinar series to help us win at boat shows? We've learned how to make a compelling product presentation that's focused on customer needs, effectively manage and convert leads to more sales, focus on setting as many customer appointments as possible, precisely qualify and establish a rapport with the customer, position low against our competitors by leveraging our advantages, quickly overcome any obstacles or objections, gain confirmation, ask for the order, and finally follow through on our commitments and obligations that we've made to the customer. Remember, consumer habits are changing. Approximately 90% of the customers that you meet have already shopped on the internet. We know that at a boat show, unlike in our dealerships, that time and control are working against us. Not only do we have competitors across the aisle from us, but there are a lot of other distractions as well. We essentially have 15 to 20 minutes to greet the customer, establish a rapport, qualify that customer, make a compelling customer-focused product presentation, and ask for the order. The most successful salespeople, while they have less time and control of that customer, are still very interactive with the customer. They're very convincing and provide the customer with solutions to their buying criteria. They, they still create that need and desire in the mind of the customer. They offer alternatives and choices to the customer, and they leverage the competitive advantages of low against the competition. When leveraging competitive advantages at a show, you have to quickly understand who you're selling against, who does my customer consider as alternatives to my product, and what do they see in that product to be different or superior to the low product that I'm selling. We position low product to areas where low is superior become the most important considerations in the buying decision. And we shift the customer's emphasis to those areas where we are superior. And finally, we position low as the best choice given the customer's overall buying criteria. According to NMMA statistics, 96% of the people surveyed exiting a boat show said that no salesperson bothered to ask them to buy a boat. Fewer than 4% of your competitors in a show ask a customer for the order. Before we can ask the customer for the order at a show, we must lay the proper foundation. They must first want the boat we're selling. They must be convinced that they need the boat that you are selling. They must see themselves enjoying the boat. You mu they must be able to afford the boat. It has to meet their budget criteria as well as the other buying criteria. They must understand the full scope of the transaction, not only the product, but the, term the price, the terms, and the conditions. They must believe in you and your dealership. It's extremely important that you create value in your experience and your dealership services that you provide that customer. You must be eager and focused on making the sale. At a boat show, when you only have 15 to 20 minutes, you must begin with the end in mind. You must possess sound closing skills. Use those closing techniques that work for you. You must quickly overcome obstacles and objections and continue to move the sale forward. And finally, when you ask the customer a question or ask them to make the purchase, remain silent. There are always barriers to closing a sale. However, at a boat show, you need to be aware that if you get into an argument with the customer, chances are you'll win the argument but lose the sale. Understand that expressing your personal beliefs, political or even sports teams, can jeopardize you making a sale. Avoid knocking the competition. Instead, focus on the strengths of your dealership, your experience, and Lowe's processes in manufacturing that makes the product superior. Avoid assuming authority you do not have. Avoid over-promising and under-delivering to the customer. And finally, avoid overselling. 
When you ask the customer a closing question, remain silent, let the customer answer. Sales consultants often fail to close at shows because many times you'll judge a book by its cover. You'll size up a customer simply by the way they look. Fail to focus on the customer needs versus just talking about endless facts and features that they may not be interested in. They show a lack of sincerity towards the customer. We talk to hundreds, maybe thousands of customers during the course of a 10-day show and we get tired. We lose our sincerity and focus. You and the customer may be on a different wavelength or may have a personality conflict or clash. When this occurs, call another representative from your dealership that there's a better fit with you and the customer. Knowing when to close at a show in that short time frame is also very important. When a customer asks about price, when they ask about delivery time or location, they begin to calculate numbers. They exhibit a sudden seriousness. In other words, they've been casual and relaxed and then get serious about terms, delivery times, price, etc. Trial closes at shows can be extremely effective in keeping the sale on track in that short time that you have to spend with the customer. They simply ask the customer for an opinion versus asking them for a buying decision. A trial close flushes out questions, concerns, and objections early in the process so that you aren't confronted with them at the time of the close. The trial close keeps the sale moving forward and it also lets you know the mindset of the customer. Is there a mutual understanding between you and the customer? Are they in the right boat? Does it meet all of their buying criteria, including budget? Trial closes allow you to keep the sale on track and understand the mindset of the customer. So asking for the order it shows. There's a few simple closing techniques that the best dealers use most frequently to close a sale at a show. First, the sales order close. It's simply reviewing with the customer all of those things that they've already agreed to in the product presentation turning the pen or pencil around and asking them to OK the sales worksheet. The assumption close is nothing more than assuming the customer is going to buy. You've made the effort, you've presented the product, you've qualified the customer, you've answered questions, you've, you've found solutions that met all of their needs, and you assume the sale is going to take place by simply giving them the writing instrument, turning the sales order sheet around, and saying the next step in the process is simply to OK it and we'll schedule a delivery. The alternative close is allowing the customer to say yes to a minor point which carries the total sale. You've presented the product, they agree on the boat, you simply hold back the horsepower or, or the Optimax or the four-stroke Mercury outboard, let them make a decision and it carries the whole sale. The ultimatum close is used when you and the customer are at an impasse. This isn't with a first time customer. This is someone you've already established a rapport with and they simply won't move to the close. An easy way to do this is Mr. and Mrs. Customer. We've been talking about this for some days, weeks, even months perhaps. It's either the right product for you or it's not. I believe that it is and if it is, let's go ahead with, this, with the uh, uh, delivery. If not, let's move on. And finally, the think it over close. The think it over close is before that customer walks out of your booth at the show, you simply review with them one last time everything that they've agreed to and ask the customer what exactly then is it you want to think over. You've, we've agreed that this is what you want. What exactly do you want to think over? Nine times out of 10, it's the money. It's the commitment. It's the down payment. It's the total payment it's the monthly payment, you then can separate the boat that they've already agreed to and have a discussion about the financial aspects of the transaction. And finally, these closing techniques at boat shows can be far more effective if you create urgency in the mind of the customer with inventory, with incentives, with terms, etc. Remember, at boat shows, you can present for show but to close the sale, you've got to ask for the business. Capturing and converting leads at shows is extremely important because no other time of the year, perhaps, will you come in contact 
with so many customers. It's essential that you capture as, uh, basic information on as many of those people that visit your booth as possible. The most successful sales consultants document every contact, including what occurred and what was discussed. They plan the next contact, including what they're going to say and how they're going to move the sale forward. And finally, they do it every day of the show with every customer. Follow up with leads before the show with existing customers and active prospects by inviting them to the show and getting as many appointments as possible. During the show, remember that immediate response, that immediate text to the customer as they leave your booth can get that customer back into your booth. And finally, immediately after the show for the next week to 10 days, follow up with every single contact. The most successful dealers win at shows by first anticipating what they're going to encounter, what they're going to encounter in their marketplace, what they're going to encounter from their competition. They prepare and practice not only the features and benefits of every boat on display, not only overcoming the most common obstacles and objections, but also what their competition is going to throw at them, what type of incentives or terms their competition is going to roll out at the show, and then finally, they have an expected outcome. They're going to win against the competition and be successful at a show with proper planning, practice, and preparation. Thank you.